Today on MTG Unpacked, we're finally assembling the November 2018 Patron Snack Packs. So if you are not aware, we recently started a Patreon on the channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description here. And at the 4-4 Double Strike Jackalope tier and above, that includes a Snack Pack envelope of Magic Cards. So I'll be assembling those in this video for those patrons at that tier and above. So what do they get out of here? As you can see, we've got Rare Mythic Foils, Uncommons, Commons. So what I'm going to do here is assemble each Snap Pack. We'll have two Rares or Mythics, a Foil, and 10 commons or uncommons. So if you would like to get in on all the snack pack goodness, you can check out the Patreon at the link in the video description. So without further ado, let's get started here. We'll move these guys aside because there will be no blessings. And there is some good stuff in here. We're going all the way through magic history back to Urza's block. So we've got some commons and uncommons in here. Can't remember if I had any rares or mythics for that block. Um, there's a walking ballista in the rare or mythic slot somewhere. Couple of very nice foils. All of it's pretty decent stuff, so let's get stuck into it. We'll start off with Michael Shoop. So as you can see, he gets his signed Jackalope card, Jackalope Herd. And we've got a bunch of other cards there from his pack openings during the week. And stay tuned, actually, if you have not seen your patron pack openings yet, those are coming over the next week or so at the time of this filming. So let's see what we can pull for Michael today. So let's see, how am I going to do this? Uh, commons, so I will say one, two, three, four, Five, and then let's say we'll do five of these. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so there's his ten commons or uncommons. Grab a foil and a rare or mythic. And another rare or mythic, and then we'll take a look at what we have here. Okay, so Michael, what are you getting today? We have a Spark Tongue Dragon from M19. Carrion Beetles, that's interesting. I think that's one of the Urza's cards. Catalyst Elemental. Tackle Maggot! Disgusting creature. Hope you're not eating your breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Venerated teacher. And a peregrine drake. Okay, that is, I think that's an uncommon. Another Urza's. Oxida scrap melter from Scars of Meriden. Diagraph ghoul. Corpse hatch. Mirror image and foil is an Urbis Protector. So that's Modern Masters 2017, not bad. And the rare is a Moldaya Channelers. So this is a creature elf druid shaman 2 2 for 3 mana. Play with the top card of your library revealed. As long as the top card of your library is a creature card, it gets plus three, plus three. And as long as the top card of your library is a land card, it has tap, add two mana of any one color to your mana pool. Very nice. And were of Invention. So it's an instant for X and three islands. Has improvised, so your artifacts can help cast this spell. Each artifact you tap after you're done, activating mana abilities pays for one. Search your library for an artifact card with command mana cost X or less, put it onto the red field, then shuffle your library. Okay, so that is your selection of cards for November 2018, Michael. I'll pop that in here. I'm just using these little um, team bags, they call them, to store the cards before I get them ready for shipping. So I'll pop that one over there. Next up, we have Michael A. Bargo II. And I'd like to thank everybody for being a patron. Thank you, Michael Shoup. Thank you, Michael Abago. 
let's see what we pull for you today. So one, two, three, four, five of these guys, and then we'll do the uncommons. One, two, three, four, and we'll get one from over here. Five. Grab you a foil. And a rare or mythic one, two of those. Okay. Let's see what we can get from Michael A. Bargo, the second here. Thank you, sir, for your patronage. Madcap Skills. Marauding Bone Slasher. Goblin Tanneler. There we go. That's what we're looking for, the goblins. I think I put a bunch of goblins in here so I could do that ridiculous voice. Snake Umbra, Makeshift Mauler, and then for the Uncommons we have Rogue Refiner, Vengeful Rebel, Alpine Moon, oh, I think I put in, yeah, I must have put in some lower value rares in the, I think in the Uncommon slot, so Alpine Moon Enchantment for a single mountain, as it enters the battlefield, choose a non-basic land card name, lands your opponent's control with the chosen name, lose all land types and abilities, and they gain tap, add one mana of any colour. So what I tried to do with the rare and mythic slot, everything in there is over a dollar at the time of filming, anything under a dollar, if I still thought it was a decent card, I would just chuck it in the uncommons, so you get one of those, Ghost Quarter. A braid, there's a decent one. And your foil is a frontline devastator from Hour of Devastation. And your rare is an obstinate Baloth. Creature beast 4-4 four, four, for 4 mana when obstinate Baloth enters battlefield, you gain 4 life if a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard obstinate Baloth, put it onto the battlefield instead of putting it into your graveyard. And your second rare is a Citanil Hierophants. So, ooh, a rare from Urza's Summon Druids. 3-2 for 4 mana. Each creature you control gains tap. Add a forest to your mana pool. Play this ability as a mana source. So, very nice pulls there today for you, sir. Let's get this set aside. Thank you for your patronage. Hope you enjoy your cards. Next up we have Jordan Williams gets his signed Jackalope Herd card. As you can see, no other cards there yet. I'll be doing his packs over the next week. Packs of standard, so depending on what tier you're at, you'll get um, either two or one, two or four packs of standard. So check that out in the Patreon link. So we have five commons here. One, two, three, four, and five uncommons. Go for a foil and rare and or mythic. Get two of those. Okay. So let's see what we pull for Jordan today. Oh, that's a nice one. Macabre Waltz. Liliana enjoying dancing with her zombies. Very strange. Do not mess with her because she will hose you. Get Sky Scanner. Take Vengeance. Battle Rattle Shaman. Here we go. One of the goblins. Lurching Rock Beast. Skeletal Worm. Okay, so that is a uncommon. That's pretty cool. Actually, I think this one, I pulled this recently. I'm going to say, is that new Phyrexia? Can't remember the symbol. Gifted Aetherborn. That's a decent one. Okay, so from Aether Revolt. Jace's Defeat. Regal Bloodlord. Shrine of Limitless Power! I remember making fun of this one the other day. So, okay, so that was New Phyrexia. I remember that symbol. Yeah, I'm not sure what that other one was then. And your foil 
is Titan Forge. That's a rare foil, so that's pretty good. Although I think this one's only a buck or two. And your rare is a Baleful Strix. This is an artifact creature, bird, 1-1 one, one for 2 mana with flying and death touch. And when it enters the battlefield, draw a card. It's from Eternal Masters. And a Mythic! Yes, it's the Master of the Wild Hunt. From Masters 25, creature, human, shaman, 3-3 for 4 mana. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a 2-2 green wolf creature token. You can tap... Tap all untapped wolf creatures you control. Each wolf tap this way deals damage equal to its power. To target creature, that creature deals damage equal to its power. Divide as its controller chooses among any number of those wolves. All right. So I think you'll enjoy that stuff there, Jordan. Thank you for being a patron. We'll get this stuff sent out to you as soon as I can. Actually, I've got to do your um, pack openings as well, so once we've done those, we'll get that on its way to you. Next up we have Dylan Ware, gets his signed MTG Impact Jackalope Herd card. Still need to do his pack openings, so stay tuned for that. Meanwhile, we'll construct the snack pack. And well, the way things are going, I'm going to have to uh, restock this thing fairly regularly. So let's see, make sure I haven't miscounted. Two, three, four, five, one, two. Okay, good. And then foils. We have one of those. Of a rare or mythic. And another one. Alrighty, Sir Dylan, let's see how we do. Oh, here, this is what we need, the Goblin Instigator. There we go, Goblins for you, Mortis Dogs, Reckless Abandon, Razor Tooth Rats! Yes, we have rats and goblins in one video, craziness, Bog Stomper. And for the uncommons, we have Sailmonger, Mind Crank, Affer Guard Hound, Bramble Snap, and Reaper of Shieldred. A marvelous horror creature there, sort of spiderish. And the foil, we get Might of Old Cruiser. So that's pretty good. That's uh, Modern Masters 2017. And the rare is a Tali Primal Storm. Legendary creature, Elder Dinosaur 6646 six, six mana. Whenever a Tali Primal Storm attacks, exile the top card of each player's library. Then you may cast any number of non land cards exiled this way without paying their mana costs. Fantastic pull there, sir. Dinos. Hope you're a dino fan. And Necrotic Ooze. Creature Ooze 4 3 for 4 mana. As long as Necrotic Ooze is on the battlefield, it has all activated abilities of all creature cards in all graveyards. Craziness. Delightful artwork there as well. So, again, thank you for being a patron, Dylan. Your pack opening will be coming up in the next week. And then we'll get that sent out to you. Next up, Jeremy Woden. I almost feel like I need some clown emojis to pop up here. If you've ever seen a comment from Jeremy, you know what I mean. So thank you for being a patron, sir. We will get this snack pack set up for you right away. Okay, so then one, two, three, four, and... Five. Grab you a foil and two rares. Good luck. Let's see what cool stuff we can pull for you today. We have a hired blade, prophetic prism, Kjeldor and dead. That is some cool artwork there. Very nice. It's one of my favourite. Pieces of art in magic, Dwarven Berserker, Lethal Sting, and Uncommons you have Suppress, 
Assault Formation, Sun Scourge Champion, Doomfall, and a Grave Digger. And the foil, oh, a nice Lanoir Elves. That's uh, Eternal Masters. And the rare, you get a Remorseful Cleric, Creature Spirit Cleric, 2 1 for 2 mana with flying. Sack it. <coughs> Excuse me. Sack it and exile all cards from target player's graveyard. Oh, a name Mythic! It's cast through time, enchantment 4 7. Instant sorcery spells you control have rebound, so exile the spell as it resolves if you cast it from your hand. At the beginning of your next upkeep, if oh, at the beginning of your next upkeep, you may cast that card from exile without paying its mana cost. Alrighty, so that is another nice one there. Thank you, Jeremy, for your patronage. We'll get that sent out to you once we have done the pack opening for you, sir. Next up. We have Eric Polanco. Again, you get your signed Jackalope Herd. Still need to do the pack opening for you, so stay tuned for that. So we have our five commons there. One, two, three, four, five uncommons. And I might mix this up depending on um, how many uncommons I have on hand at any time. I just figured five of each is probably good but I've just said ten assorted so whatever we get there. Alright Eric let's see how we can do. We have a Mog War Marshal Goblin Warrior. There he is. Fantastic artwork on that one. Big fan of the goblins. Invoke the Divine Glassblower's Puzzle Knot. Foul Familiar. That's some cool artwork. Zombie Scavengers. And you get a Band Felidar Guardian in the uncommon slot. Shepherd Dunes. Hiromance's Cage. Brawlbash Ogre, Departed Deckhand, and a nice Imperial Voyager Foil. It's a uh, Kaladesh. And the rare is a Scrap Trawler, Artifact Creature Construct, 3 2 for 3 mana. Whenever Scrap Trawler or another artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, return to your hand, target artifact card in your graveyard with lesser converted mana cost. Oh, there's a nice pull. Panharmonicon. Artifact for four. If an artifact or creature entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. I believe this is one of Saffron Olive's favorite cards. He's always talking about the Panharmonicons. All right, so thank you, Eric, for being a patron. I hope you enjoy these cards and stay tuned for your pack opening. Next up we have Martin, see what we can get for you today sir, thanks for being a patron, so two, three, four, and five, and uncommons, one, two, three, four, and five, and a foil, Two res or mythics. Alrighty. Good luck, sir. Let's see what we can get you today. We have a McKindy Griffin, Ghostly Possession, Grave Digger, Grizzly Survivor. These Minotaur Warriors are always cool. Gaia's Bounty. Looks like an Urza's card. Uncommons. Oh, actually, this one's a rare. So one of these little sneaky rares I've put in there. Mentor of the Meek, 2-2 two, two for 3 mana. Creature, human, soldier, whenever another creature with power 2 or less enters battlefield under your control, you may pay 1 if you do draw a card. Okay, so continuing Uncommons, we have Thud. Voltaic Key. It's pretty cool. Sleep. 
Iridescent Drake. And your foil is Night Terrors. And it that betrays. Some nice creature Eldrazi here. 11 11 for 12 mana. Has Annihilator 2. Whenever this creature attacks, defending player sacrifices 2 permanents. And whenever an opponent sacrifices a non token permanent, put that card onto the battlefield under your control. Very nice. And a Siege Gang Commander. So this is a Creature Goblin. There we go again. 2-2 two, two for 5 mana when Siege Gang Commander enters the battlefield. Put 3-1-1 one, one Red Goblin Creature Tokens onto the battlefield. Pay 1 in a mountain. Suck it. And Siege Gang Commander deals 2 damage to target creature or player. Very nice pulls there for you, sir. Thank you, Martin, for being a patron. We'll be doing your pack opening in a future video in the next week or so, so stay tuned for that. All right, next up we have Sebastian Blackwell. Thank you for being a patron. Let's see what goodness we can get for you. Three, four, and five. One, two. Three, four, and five, and un a uh, foil rather, not an uncommon. And we get two rares or mythics. All right, good luck, sir. Let's see what we can pull for you today. We have a Dawn Glare Invoker, Silent Skimmer, Act of Treason. Whoa. Got through two there. Grotag Siege Runner! There we go, the Goblin Rogue. Nearly missed the opportunity for the Goblin Voice. A wall of Forgotten Pharaohs. And the uncommons we have Fervent Paincaster. Soulbound Guardians. Ash Barons. Ground Assault. Scarb Goliath. Zombie Giant. Hideous. And, oh, a nice foil rare, Unbreathing Horde, Creature Zombie zero, 0 for 3 mana, Unbreathing Horde enters the battlefield with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it for each other zombie you control, and each zombie card in your graveyard, if Unbreathing Horde would be dealt damage, prevent that damage, and remove a plus 1 plus 1 counter from it. So, you're going to get 3 rare zombie fix today, that's pretty good. And, Unwinding Clock, Artifact for 4. So this is from New Phyrexia. Untap all artifacts you control during each other player's untap step. And some of these you may have noticed from recent videos. So what I'm doing, a lot of this stuff is just things that I've pulled throughout the channel's history. Um, also, there is some stuff I had before, but there's not too many boxes. I think I had Eternal Masters, Modern Masters 2017, Armin Ket and Hour of Dev. Maybe not. But yeah, a whole bunch of stuff here pulled on the channel. And Xur the Enchanter, legendary creature, human wizard, 1-4 for 4 four mana with flying. Whenever Xur the Enchanter attacks, you may search your library for an enchantment card with command mana cost 3 or less. Put it onto the battlefield if you do. Shuffle your library. Alright, so Sebastian, thank you for being a patron. We'll do your pack opening in the next week. Stay tuned. Okay, and <laughs> our next one from my homeland, it's Bozza! Bozza! Okay, he gets his Jackalope Herd. Have not done the pack opening for him yet. It's all the way from down under. Two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, Four and five. Let's see what things we can pull for you today. Get a foil. One, two rares or mythics. All right. So let's get underway here. We have Root Snare. Thriving Rats. I should have said that. Thriving rats! There we go, that's better. Voiceless Spirit, Stagger Shock, 
Frostwing Invoker. And for the uncommons we have Cherished Hatchling, Chandra's Defeat, Boneyard Worm. Oh, so this is interesting. Did I? Yeah, okay. Apex of Power, you get a bonus Mythic here today. So I think this was probably less than a dollar, so I chucked it in there. Sorcery for 10. So exile the top 7 cards of your library. Until end of turn you may cast non-land cards exiled this way. If the spell was cast from your hand, add 10 mana of any one color. Fantastic pull there, sir. Oh, nearly. Okay, so that was in the uncommon slot. Village Cannibals. This is a creepy lot right here. Okay, so here's the foil you got to pick at. A Kabira Vindicator. Very nice. Oh, a Planeswalker. It's Summit the Tested. Planeswalker Summit for loyalty for four mana. Plus one up to one target creature gains. Double striker to end a turn. Minus two. It deals two damage divided as you choose among one or two target creatures and or players. And minus seven is search a library for up to two creature and or Planeswalker cards. Put them onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. So it's a mythic. Okay. And you also get, holy cow, you get another mythic. Reaper from the Abyss. Creature demon is a 6-6-4 Six mana, of course, with flying, has morbid at the beginning of each end step. If a creature died this turn, destroy target non-demon creature. Great pulls for you today, sir. So you actually got three mythics. Craziness. So I will get that sent out to you once we've done your pack opening video in the next week. Thank you for being a patron. We're getting down towards the end here. I think we have three more to go. Jack of all trades. Thank you for being a patron. You'll see him on a lot of other channels as well. Great supporter of the MTG community. So we have two, three, four, and five. Get some uncommons for you, sir. One, two, three, Four and five. Get a foil and rare one or mythic. Rare two. All right. So let's see how we do for you today. Jack of all trades. You get a bogget boot. Fantastic. Goblins. Got to keep the goblins coming. Crush. Goblin Medics! Here we go, we have even more Goblin action. Craziness. Wrap in Flames. Essence Scatter. And for the Uncommons we have Rapacious One. Gifted Aetherborn! Very nice. Actually I must have put two in there. That's surprising. Okay. So those are worth a few bucks. Lumber Knot. Gittering Invasion. Who's a fan of the Eldrazi? Leave a note in the comments. Militia Bugler. And your foil is Crash Through. Oh, 10th edition rare. Very nice. Arcanus, the omnipotent legendary creature wizard. 3 4 for 6 mana. You can tap, draw 3 cards. Or pay two and two islands, return a Karnas, the Omnipotent, to its owner's hand. And your second rare is Fraying Sanity. This is a favorite of mine. Just milling your opponent. Enchantment or a curse for three mana. Enchant player at the beginning of each end step. Enchanted player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, where X is the number of cards put into that graveyard from anywhere this turn. If you're a mill fan, Leave a note in the comments. If you absolutely hate Mill, also leave a note in the comments. Thank you again, Jack of All Trades. We'll be doing your pack opening over the next week. Stay tuned. Next up we have You Mad Bra 99. Cool name. He gets his sign Jackalope Herd. And we also need to do his pack opening video in the next week. So three, four, and five, and then the uncommons, 
One, two, three, four, and five. I'll get a nice foil here for you. Rare one, rare two. Good luck. Let's see what we can get for you. You mad bra 99. Get you a mole splicer. Regress. More of the Maya. That's pretty cool. What is that? Innistrad. Very nice. Lich's Caress. Moon Glove Extract. And for the Uncommons, we have a King Crab. Falconrath Noble. Merfolk Sky Scout. A Ravenous Intruder. So we have a Goblin in the works here. And, oh, this must be one of those uh, less than a dollar. Nephalia Dranyard, a land. Pay, uh, what is that? No, tap, add one to your mana pool. Pay one and a island and a swamp. Tap, target player puts top three cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. And we get a foil ticking gnomes. These guys are pretty funny. And... The rare is a Metallic Mimic. So this is an artifact creature shapeshifter 2-1 for 2 mana. As Metallic Mimic enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. It's the chosen type in addition to its other types. Then each other creature you control of the chosen type enters the battlefield with an additional plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Oh, this is one of the big hits. Dark Slick Shores. So this is a land from Scars of Meriden. Enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or fewer other lands. You can tap, add an island or swamp to your mana pool. Congratulations, congratulations, sir. I'm having trouble with words now. That will be going out to you very shortly. We just need to do your pack opening. And again, thanks for being a patron, you mad bra 99. Okay, final patron we have is Lou Jukes. Thanks for being a patron, sir. We'll see what we can get you. Three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. We'll get a foil here. And Two rares or mythics. Alright, good luck, Lou. Hopefully we can get you something good here. And actually a lot of my criteria, I didn't just toss bulk in here. I was looking for cards that caught my eye as I sorted through the boxes. So usually something interesting about it. Um, I think that's probably why there's a lot of black and red in there because I'm a Rakdos fan. So you'll see a lot of that. Okay, let's get started. We have Lava Axe, Vent Sentinel, Copperhorn Scout, Duress, Champions Drake, and you also get an, a bonus rare here, Grand Law, Warlord Radha, Legendary Creature Elphoria, 3-4 for 4 mana with haste. Whenever one or more creatures you control attack, add that much mana in any combination of mountains and or forests until end of turn, you don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. We get a Forsaken Sentry, so we're doing uncommons. Moan of the Unhallowed, that is quite hideous. Let's say Innistrad. Unbreathing Horde, you get an... What is this? This is a rare as well, holy cow. You're doing well today, so you'll probably end up with four rares at least. Creature Zombie enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it for each other zombie you control and each zombie card in your graveyard, so that's a zero zero for three mana. If it would be dealt damage, prevent that damage and remove a plus one plus one counter from it. We also get a Nightshade Seer. Your foil is Victimize. And the rare is a Gigantosaurus creature, dinosaur, 10-10 for 5 mana. This is a massive beast. Nice pull if you're a dino fan. And you also get Disallow, so an instant for 3. Counter target spell, activated ability or triggered ability. 
Mana abilities can't be targeted. All right, so those are your pulls today. Lou, thank you for your patronage and stay tuned for your pack opening video. So again, we've got a nice large pile of cards there I'll mail out. And if you are not in this video, contact me on Patreon if you were expecting to be here. Or if you joined after October 31st and you would like to get in on the sweet pack cracking goodness for November, let me know. Contact me on Patreon. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And I know this was a long video, but I hope the patrons and everyone else enjoyed it. And again, link to the Patreon is in the description. And in a moment, we will roll the credits with all our patrons here. Stay tuned, look for your name. Thanks again for being patrons of MTG Impact. Thanks for watching and have a great day.